Hello everyone, so in today's video I will just be covering which items from the BeBears catalog I personally think would be worth it or not and I will just be giving a, a quick explanation on each on each um, item as well so so starting off with the present this is an obvious yes just because it's just like literally an extra buff you can give to one of your NPCs early on in the game and it's pretty cheap as well so yeah that's this is just a item I highly recommend just because it's cheap and you just and you just get extra buffs as, buffs as well so starting off with, with the ticket planter this is just another obvious yes just because it's just cheap as well and yeah there's like not really much of an explanation I can give but all I can say is it's pretty cheap and yeah you just get free tickets and puff rooms for this so yeah that's just basically it now for the festive planter, this is another obvious yes just because the festive planter is just so good for nectar if you need it especially and yeah it's just another really cheap item as well. It's like just 10 gingerbread and 100 snowflakes that's like you can easily get that in like a few like like at least at least like an hour at most so yeah that's just something I would just I would just say you buy so yeah. And now and now next off, I will be covering the Arts and Crafts bundle, the Radioactive bundle, and the Quick Convert bundle. All thrifty bun all thrifty's bundles, I would just say yes, just because it's just like more ingredients for a cheap price. Like you get like a caustic wax, you get like an atomic trade, and all these other stuff for like just like what? This is like less than this is like less than two hundred snowflakes and ten gingerbread. So yeah. I would just highly buy this because it's just extremely cheap, so yeah. And next off will be the Violet Bundle. So this is a... So this bundle I will highly recommend you buy, especially if you're like in the early game or mid game phase because 20 purple potions can help you a lot in that level. But it can just help at any level, but I would just buy this just because it's cheap as well. This bundle is like, it's not like extremely cheap, but it's a good price and you get good ingredients for it. So yeah, another yes for this bundle. And now next off, moving on to the Dicey bundle, which you get 3 loaded dice, 13 smooth dice, 33 regular field dice, and 1 black balloon. This would be just another yes, just because of the black balloon. I think black balloons are like extremely overpowered, especially if you're boosting, and it's pretty hard to get as well. So, for 300 s snowflakes, and you you can just get a black balloon balloon just like that. Yeah, I'll just highly recommend you buy this. It's pretty cheap as well. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. Moving on would be the blinding bundle. This one would be the first bundle I would say no to, because it's just because of like the B clips and stickers, it's uh, it's literally to be honest not that good in my opinion. So. For the sticker, this is um, basically what you get. So I got the red color one, and it just buffs like two percent red pollen. But like, if you care about this and you want and you want to put out like the sticker stack, then you could buy this theoretically. But like, if you don't care about any of this stuff, then this would just be a no to this bundle. So yeah. So now moving on to the percussive bundle. Now I will only say yes to this if you really need it, or if, like if you are in need of any crafting recipes for the hard wax but for the toy drum b quip you can basically get this which you get a an ability as taste for so in theory that's pretty good if you're like in need of a hive slot and you can just remove like a hasty bee and then use like a toy drum b quip so if you're going on that situation then i would just buy this but if not then i just personally wouldn't buy this but that's what that's my opinion for that one. And now moving on to the fan fair bundle, I would personally just say no to this one because just like the B quip, it's like honestly not that bad. I, I can quickly buy this. You get a you get a melody token from this, which honestly is good. But like if you're buying it just for that and you're spending twenty five gingerbread, then that's just something I would not recommend you get. But like the twenty oils, that's pretty good as well. But like for twenty five inch gingerbread, I don't like. Like that's just not worth it for me, but yeah, that's my opinion on that one. And now moving on to the Roy Royal Winter Bundle, you can you get like a B quip and all these other stuff, but like the only the main thing that you get is this B quip, which uh, you can see I bought it, and you get this thing, which you get pretty good stats. I can't lie, but like it's only applicable to basically blue bees. So if you're not blue, then then this is an automatic 
no as well but like even if you are blue if you're buying if you're spending 2500 snowflakes for this then just for this be equipped then i would just not buy this since yeah so now moving on to the sticky sticker bundle the only main thing you get is just the five sticker planters and uh and this be equipped that as you can see right here which it's not that good in all honesty like you can see that none of this stuff is really that good so this is just like no but you get 1000 gun drops but at the same time like again it's not it's just not that good or worth it at all so yeah this would be a no for me and now moving on to the festive one though so this one it's i would honestly say it's pretty hard to say since 75 gingerbread is honestly a decent amount and you get two festive beans and three festive planters but what i would say like is if you boost a lot then i i would definitely recommend this one but if you don't like if you're just a mid game player then i i would rethink about buying this one you can also get the speed quip as well so it's pretty decent as well in all honesty but like it's just not that worth it for 75 gingerbread so yeah that's just what i would say all right next off would be the tropical bundle and the pea power bundle so in all honesty this is pretty biased since like there's a lot of people who just want to buy this for the stickers but it's pretty expensive at the same time so like you know 100 gingerbread and 200 gingerbread for one sticker like it's pretty biased but like if you're a person that likes to like just use stickers for like a sticker stack or just hold on in general then yeah i would just buy this but if not then just no so yeah that's what i would say about both these bundles so next off would be the blessed bean bundle which you get 10 festive beans for now now at this point if you have 50,000 snowflakes saved up then you should have then you should have already bought most of this stuff like you know like um the like any of these stuff like you should already have so if we're going on that situation then i'll just personally buy this since just there's just there's just nothing else to buy so but it, it is pretty good if you boost a lot but if you're just saving in general for this then just to know and yeah that's what i have to say now moving on to the merry mondo mondo bundle where you get like one gifted mythic egg and one turpentine and all these other all these other good stuff this one uh, is just like the same as the blessed bean bundle since like if you like at this point you should have already bought all of this stuff so so yeah i'll just say this is a hard yes because it's just good as well but but i would buy this before you buy this one this bundle obviously since it's just better stuff and yeah and now moving on to the royal jelly this one i'll just say yes just because it's just 10 snowflakes and it's just cheap as well so yeah just buy this because why not and for star jelly this one I, I would just say no because yeah it is just 500 snowflakes but it's just like you could just honestly buy other stuff first before you buy this one so yeah and then for the silver egg and, and the gold egg this one would just be another yes as well just because it's just cheap as well so you might as well buy both of these eggs as well so yeah now for the diamond egg i would personally just say no to this one because like 10 1000 snowflakes isn't that much but like you should probably buy all these other stuff first before you buy a diamond egg and it's not that good as well so yeah but that's just this one is entirely like 50 50 so yeah okay now moving on to the controversial one which is mythic egg for mid gamers so this one i would just say no just because i would not give a hundred gingerbread for this one but like a lot of like early gamers who like really want mythic eggs would say they would buy this over anything else but like you you know personally for me this one is just not that good and one mythic egg sorry one mythic b people just don't realize it's just not that good but like you know just i would just say no to this one but if you're like a mid gamer who wants mythic beast then sure just go for it but yeah okay now moving on to star tree which is basically the same situation as um that same situation as both these bundles as well because like I don't really want to explain it more but like yeah you know it's just 10,000 snowflakes so but like if we're going on in order then I will for sure buy this one first and then the blessed bean bottle and then the star treat since 10,000 snowflakes is quite a lot honestly so yeah 
And now for the random star sign, I would just say yes, just because it's pretty hard to get a star sign in, in on one of these NX right here. So, you know, this is, I'm in a test room, so I can just spin this for fun, but you, you know, like, let's just spin this for fun and see if I get a star sign sticker. And you can see right here, um, okay, you know, like, uh, as expected. So, you know, like, so, like, something like this can always happen to you. So, if we're going on that, then, yeah. Like, this was entirely based on looks. I was actually surprised when I got this, but yeah. I just buy- I would just buy this, cause just, you know, you don't want any of this happening to you if you're spending, like, any gifted eggs. And now moving on to the puppies, reindeer antlers, I would just say no to this one, just because you only get a 1.1 multiplier of capacity, which, like, if you're, like, maybe a blue hive, then maybe this is good as well, but, like, you shouldn't be need you shouldn't be relying on that to get most of your capacity as well. So, like, I'll just say no to this one as well. And now, the 50 Super Smoothies. And so, like, this just goes in the same situation as, you know, like, both of these bundles and a star treat. Because you shouldn't just... At this point, you should basically have li literally everything saved up and bought up here. So, like, I don't, I don't really know how to explain this well. But, like, yeah, just... I'll just say this is worth it, but, like... You know, like, you should already have all this stuff as well, so I'll just say buy this as well, so yeah. Anyways, that's basically just my opinion on all of this stuff, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, bye.